for writing that what we prepared class diagram for that only I am writing the code. Now let us flip to visual studio environment. Let us take a class first as per our class diagram branch 1 class is there CLS branch 1. So, branch 1 we have already details int branch code string branch name string branch address ok right public void get b data branch data we have to give here then it is very simple console dot write line here enter branch details we have to enter the branch details here ok now for entering the branch details already we declare data fields of branch branch code branch name branch address so that's what let's take branch code but branch code is what type that is integer type but whenever we are giving running time branch code that will be treated as what string so that's what we have to convert that string value string to integer value this dot b name that is console dot read line and this dot b address also that is console dot read line this is very simple implementation of uh, get b data code then later i want to, to display these all details so that's what i'm taking display b data that means branch data let's open and close and to display that branch details first i'm writing some statement that is uh, branch details are branch details are console dot write line branch code is plus this dot b code b code is branch code next uh, console dot write line so branch branch name is plus this dot branch name console dot write line branch address is plus this dot b address then this is branch details we successfully done here now you can see class name is branch 1 and data fields are branch code branch name branch address and these two functions get b data display b data after that let's close this class let's create an interface but actually that uh, according to class diagram we have interface so to make an interface we should use interface keyword interface name is cls sorry let's so interface interface name is cls employee 9 open and close so it is having all abstract functions so that's what i'm making this abstract function wide get emp data and also wide display emp data so why display emp data and why get, get emp data is don't have any public abstract before means these are interface functions interface functions by default uh, public and abstract we need not to specify the public abstract before that okay this is interface let's close this again i'm going to create one more class class cls manager 2 and it should be narrated from base level classes but at base level what was there one class and one interface what is the class name cls branch 1 comma interface name is what cls employee 9 but as i told that when we want to implement multiple inheritance at base level one class and one interface first we have to mention what class name then after what interface so class name is branch and interface name is what employee 9 that is cls employee 9 ok then after that it is having the data fields like int emp id and string ename and double types double correlevance and bonus ok let us implement this also manager to then first we will make that public void get emp data public void get emp data open and close then console dot write line enter manager details ok then how do we enter manager details this dot emp id equal to convert dot convert dot to into 32 of console dot read line this dot ename equal to console dot read line 
this dot car elements it is double type so that's what we are giving convert dot to double wait a minute to double off console dot read line this dot bonus also it is a double type so that's what I'm taking convert dot to double of console dot read line right so this is get EMP data and display EMP data let me write public void display EMP data then open and close console dot write line manager details are manager details are then console dot write line manager ID is plus this dot EMP ID console dot write line manager name is plus this dot e name console dot right line car elements is plus this dot and finally bonus is right so as per our class diagrams then we can implement uh, all these things already be implemented you can see this branch class is over and that branch class is code is closed and after that I created what interface interface is CLS employee 9 then branch uh, another class that is called derived class manager 2 that is inherited from what class and branch so branch is a class and what this is interface so now we don't have any main method I'm going to create non derived class let me create non derived class class CLS multiple inheritance meaningful name just I'm giving multiple inheritance we need to create object for what class derived class which is derived class then CLS manager 2 is a derived class let's create static void main and CLS manager 2 obj1 equal to new CLS manager 2 then obj1 dot what functions we have to call get b data actually but whenever I'm calling get uh, b data so it is not coming so why it is not coming let's check out here so branch data is not coming so let's see this get b data public wide get b data cls branch one yeah actually we did what here you can see this interface is there here cls imply nine and branch one it's clear but we are going to create object for what cls manager two so we created that only then whenever i'm calling obj one is object one dot get B data is not coming. Let's see this what's happened. CLS branch one manager two is non derived class, which is uh, inherited from CLS branch one and CLS employee nine. Branch one is interface, or oh, sorry, branch one is a class name. So already CLS manager 2 might be it is there so let's change the name so that is what I am going to do CLS manager 2 so let's go and change the name of that uh, manager 2 class okay so already if it is manager 2 is there in my previous session that will be reflect here it is so let me go with manager 3 so let's see what's happened so manager 3 and it is and let me create a uh, object for CLS manager 3 CLS manager 3 manager 3 it is not affected let's see this so sorry CLA CLA I have given actually here it is there you can see CLA manager 
2 uh, is there okay CLA manager 2 let's click CLA manager 2 CLA manager 2 obj1 equal to new CLA manager 2 then obj1 dot get b data now it is coming actually class name we have that we, we did mistake here so that's what the get b data is not showing get b data and after that obj1 dot uh, get emp data let's flip to that obj1 dot get emp data then after that obj1 dot display b data and obj1 dot display emp data okay then console dot read to stay back to our screen console dot read let's run the application and check this is a multiple inheritance so at base level one class and one interface we implemented okay so go to solution explorer let's change uh, properties startup object but in startup object we uh, are observing that cls multiple inheritance class it is having only static wide main method click on save and run the application and check out here what's happened some error is there you can see what error is there now click on that and error list you can go there and uh, so cls console basic start cls manager does not implement interface member and display emp data so what it is here you can see uh, now we can see one more important thing why the display emp data here we did mistake here spelling mistake is there so that's what it raises an error so display emp data now let's run the application and check we'll, we won't be get any error okay so enter branch details and branch details we have to enter here how do we enter branch details then branch code is 4562 and branch name is sr nagar and branch address is hyderabad okay manager details manager code is 7891 and manager name is sairam and manager address is uh, what it is hyd again manager sorry manager car relevance you have to enter but unfortunately we entered address so that's what it is not uh, there is no address field in that uh, our code okay that's what it is showing an error so again let's run that enter branch details branch code and branch name is sr nagar branch address is hyderabad and manager id is 1234 manager name is sairam manager car allowance is 1200 and bonus is 3000 okay so this is a, a multiple inheritance implementation we did clearly okay at base level what one class and one interface and let's create same thing we will implement multiple inheritance at base level uh, two interfaces how do we uh, write a programming part for multiple inheritance at base level to interfaces we'll discuss now let's create a program directly so how to create multiple interface uh, multiple inheritance at base level to interfaces now you can see i'm going to take directly interface interface one here it is okay interface interface one now interface interface one then here i'm going to take function void f1 okay void f1 this is what function abstract function okay you know that so next uh, interface at base level i'm going to create uh, two interface interface two so here interface one and interface two both are having same function you can see void f1 so next what i'm going to take one more class i'm going to create class class c then it is going to be inherited interface one and interface two here at base level two interfaces so that's what any one you can specify first either you can specify interface one first or you can specify interface two anything interface two comma interface one or interface one comma interface two so as we discuss at base level one class and one interface only we have to give class name first then after class name but when we have interfaces at base level two but any interface name you can give first not a problem class c interface one interface two okay then after that here i'm going to implement that function public void what function we have f1 then open close okay then console dot write line some here i'm going to write welcome something okay welcome so welcome is i implemented in this function so these are multiple inheritance so at base level two interfaces at base level interface one and interface two is there and here class c it is derived class now let's flip to another cls multiple this is what non derived class then it is having static void main we need to create object for what as usual then class c derived class object we need to create so c obj1 class c that is c capital so that's what c obj1 equal to new class c 
then after that obj1 dot what function is there f1 okay then to stay back to our screen you can see console dot read but what is the problem you can see this when i am going to run this program properties and cls multiple which is having two interfaces at base level when i am going to run but two interfaces are producing same result welcome why it is happened because two interfaces are having same function here okay but if i want to do that multiple uh, what it is uh, for multiple interfaces two interfaces different implementation i want to produce then how do i do that you can see this okay so let's uh, do that quickly so here how i'm going to do that so actually when we call obj1.f1 it is called both interfaces both interfaces implemented by what class c class so that's what it is showing only welcome but if i want to do that uh, different implementation for both interfaces what can i do that okay so let's change that something here new so public i'm removing here void void then interface one interface one dot f1 okay so interface is showing an error because it is capital there is interfaces capital only now let me take here welcome here let me go with another functionality here in this class c only so void interface to f1 functionality is same function is same but here we can able to do that for example hello hello so this is here welcome hello but function you can see f1 and f1 but interface is different so i, I interface one dot f1 is welcome and interface 2 dot f1 is hello so this is different implementation but when it comes to here obj1 you can see this it is showing an error because it won't be effect with two interfaces at a time so actually we need to create object for class c compulsory it is because those interfaces interface 1 and interface 2 are both are implemented in what class class c here so that's what compulsory how to create object for this only after that you can see what i'm going to create okay so interface one interface one sorry interface one obj2 equal to then interface one of obj1 next uh, interface two obj3 equal to then interface two of obj1 then obj2 dot f1 this obj2 is what related to interface one and obj3 dot f1 this obj3 dot f1 means related to i2 interface so this is known as explicit interface implementation okay so this is known as explicit interface implementation explicitly we are going to do this implementation here so here object two that is i1 interface we cannot directly uh, create object for interfaces interface cannot be implemented by interface cannot be instantiated by directly itself so that's what it is so we are going to do that explicitly that casting we are doing here object 2 that is going to be take reference of object 1 here so when we call obj2 dot f1 obj2 dot f1 is for what purpose here interface 1 interface 1 what was there welcome is there and when we call obj3 dot f1 so this is purpose of interface 2 then interface 2 is what hello when we run the application here it in c then both uh, implementation is there both uh, uh, interfaces are having different implementation first interface one is what welcome and second interface one is what hello so this is known as explicit interface implementation thing here okay so c sharp dot net will support explicit interface implementation also so this is called multiple inheritance and uh, how to work with how to create multiple inheritance with the help of interface and what is the role of interface while doing multiple inheritance and uh, at base level one class and one interface and base level two interfaces okay that's all about uh, multiple inheritance